Making virtual reality video is not a cheap hobby. I'm Bridget Carey. This is your CNET Update. Nokia created a professional level virtual reality camera and boy oh boy it does not come cheap. You'll need to dish out $60,000 for this camera that can capture 360 degree video and spatial audio. It's called Ozo and Nokia first showed off the camera in July but now it's slapped a hefty price tag on it in the hopes that big production companies can afford to drop 60 grand to be among the first with virtual reality video for those headsets that are now being developed. The Ozo ships in 2016. What makes the Ozo interesting is that it records stereoscopic 3D video through eight synchronized shutters, and it also has eight integrated microphones. It saves all the footage into one file, or you can even use this for live broadcasting. But Nokia is not the only company working on cameras for this new medium. Google partnered with GoPro to create the Odyssey. It's a rig of 16 GoPro action cameras attached together at a cost of $15,000. If 15 grand doesn't sound so pricey to you, then you may be just the person who would buy a luxury Super Mario watch made by designer Romain Jerome. Now, it doesn't actually play Mario games or do any smartwatch things. For about $15,000, it does tell the time. Only 85 of these will be made, which have hand-painted Mario icons surrounded by a titanium casing. Retro is fun, but if you're gonna pay that kind of money, you want the watch to do something, right? Well, Swiss watchmaker Swatch announced that its upcoming Swatch Bellamy model can make payments at the register, similar to how the Apple Watch works. The Bellamy model is launching in early 2016, and it can be used anywhere contactless Visa payments are accepted. It has an NFC chip inside with high frequency radio waves that send data over short distances, but that's the only smart thing it does. There's no checking messages, no internet at all. There are so many varieties of smartwatches and all have different features. It can be a bit messy to sort through to find the right model for you, but what if you could just build your own and handpick the features you want. That's the idea behind Blocks. It's a smartwatch that raised $1.6 million of funding on Kickstarter. Each block on the band holds a different feature, and you clip them together to form the perfect smartwatch. One strap link would have GPS, another may have NFC for payments, or maybe one is just an extra battery. For about $300, you can pre-order one, but it doesn't come out until June of next year. That's it for this Tech News Update, and there's more at CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.